Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer Twitch channel. And here's the highly anticipated ma anticipated matchup between myself and DPS. I am the Philadelphia Eagles. He's the San Francisco 49ers. This is the Tecmo Bowl Throwback League. And we are getting back to it. Don't have the webcam up today. We had used it in the NFL Blitz tournament on Nintendo 64 the other night at Demon Tap, so it will be out of commission. Touchback. Dan takes the touchback on the opening kickoff. So we have a battle between the two, basically the two best quarterbacks in this game. I have Randall Cunningham, Steve Young is the best. They're both the fastest quarterbacks, and they can definitely hold it down. And I call his first play. He's got nowhere to go. And it's a big, big first play right there. Young scrambling around. He just gets it off. Gets it in double coverage. Jerry Rice. Not what I was looking to do there. I left him back there because I saw the coverage was there. Didn't pan out for me. They were using Seth. Running right. And it's up quite a bit there. Young run side. This is a good play for them. I have the same play in my playbook. So I'm trying to get the chat right here for those of you that are watching. So if you're watching, let me know in the chat so I can see if it's coming up. Steve Young's dropping back and scrambling around. Stays behind the line of scrimmage, throws into coverage. The coverage is there and breaks it up that time. How's it going, Heretic Ninja? Good to see you in the chat. Thanks for joining this season game of Tech Mobile Throwback. We have six players in the season. Uh, we are, this week, we are finishing up playing each other one time. So DPS... Uh, Scotty, Infamous Smoke, and Tommy are the three opponents I still have to play. So here I'm expecting, expecting a pass, and it's a bootleg. He may go deep. No, he doesn't. And he's not able to out-tap me. We'll see if he goes for the field goal. I probably should have kept the defense up there. Now he has a makeable fourth down. We'll see what he goes with on this one. I guess the shotgun, so he's going to get this playoff cleanly. I did guess pass, so nothing's really there. He's just going to throw one up. And it's incomplete. Turnover on downs. Philadelphia taking over. Let's see if we could get into a quick rhythm here. Randall Cunningham's got that 75 pass speed in this game, 50 maximum speed. Steve Young on the other side has the 44 maximum speed. Makes a quick cut, only a three yard gain. A lot of passing for the Eagles this season so far. Mixing in a few run plays. There you just got Randall's feet, and he's just going to pick up the first down. Eagles lining up in the shotgun. See Dan going with some Tim McDonald defensively. Throwing it. Randall's short. Back shoulders it. First down. 
And he's got a fast passing speed, so he makes it happen on that one. First down Eagles start of the second quarter. So far moving the ball at will on this first drive. Randall takes off, gets another seven. And now things tighten up. Sticking with McDonald defensively. Calls the play correctly. Throw one in short outlet. First down, Eagles. Just wanted to get that play off. Now it's time to maybe bust into some of these run plays. And I'm just going to go for the best one, which is the Randall shotgun outside. We'll see if he's able to read it. And yes, he does. A little bit too obvious there. And he gets the stop, so. Now we're under center. Split backs. He's going with Griffin defensively. And he wraps him up. So now, oh, third down in goal, but it's a long 13 yards to go. DPS playing some good defense here. He guessed the first play, and it's been downhill ever since. Nothing really there. Would have had to throw it in coverage. Going to go for the field goal and try to take the lead. And it's up and it is good right down the middle. Eagles have the lead. Kind of reminded me of my performance in uh, the playoffs in the Full Nelson 2 in Green Bay, Wisconsin this past weekend. My two playoff games. In the first half, all I was doing was kicking field goals. In the first game, I was able to dominate defensively. There's a player that goes by the name of Applejacks. Second game, though, only 6-0 in the first uh, half. And uh, Tim Poppy ends up beating me in that game with the last second drive. And he ends up winning that tournament. So definitely want to get in the end zone next time I have the ball. But we'll see if we can lock them down. 49ers, best offense in this game. If they have a drawback, it's their playbook's just okay. And you can't change the playbooks online. So you have to get used to the standard playbooks. And they're all a little bit different from Tecmo Super Bowl on the NES. And so far here, moving the ball well. Steve Young's got some options. He'll probably just run for the first, and he does. A lot of Eagles able to hit him there. And he's liking this play. Maybe it's a run this time to Rathman. We'll see if he'll mix it in. No. Plays guess correctly. He throws to the outlet. Missed opportunity for me defensively. He picks up a first even though I guessed the play. I really want to force him to start running the ball. Ricky Waters is a good back in this game. I believe he's a 56 maximum speed. And there is a coverage sack. Clyde Simmons, second be best defensive end in the game, comes and gets the sack there. Here he's going split backs. I'm going to go top side, Allen, just in case he runs down. And he goes to this play, which he's got the open running backs, but he's going deep. It's a perfect spiral, and it is covered catch by Jerry Rice. Blocks running down. 
And he's going for it. So this is probably going to be the last play of the half. This clock is pretty quick in comparison to Tecmo Super Bowl on the NES. He runs, oh no, bootleg. He's got nothing. He's just going to throw in coverage, and it's incomplete. The Eagles' defense comes through 3 0 at halftime. The Eagles receive. And Tecmo does what Tecmo does. They show off their ladies in their sports games. Them and Midway always got to have the well endowed ladies in their sports games. And this remake is no exception. Randall, 100% completion. Not much rushing in that first half. Jerry Rice is probably the star with two catches and 78 yards. This is the remake of the Super Nintendo version of the game. Of the first one, not the second or the third. So it's Dan saying that he can hear me speak. He just texts me right now. <laughs> Don't say your place. All right, I'm going to stick to the commentary part of it. And not to give my analysis on the place since he's hearing me. All right, so... Play was chosen automatically since I didn't pick it. We'll see what the computer chose for me here. And it's a run outside. And it works out well. Herschel Walker picking up eight. Maybe we could get something going on the ground here in the second half. If I could pick up seven yards a chunk, I don't mind running at all. Here he's going with Romanowski. He gets blocked. Sherman doesn't really have the speed. Another thing in this game is they don't allow you to make substitutions. They just really don't want you going into those menus and wasting time while you're playing online. So split backs, he's going McDonald. Bouncing outside to Herschel Walker. This drive is critical. If I can punch it in the end zone, I feel like I will be in the driver's seat to win this game. And I'm going to throw deep. Incomplete. Calvin Williams, he's covered. Waited too long there. Third down and seven. Very makeable. Just have to figure out which play to pick. Defensively, he's going to Romanowski. He left me uh, an opportunity there. And I didn't throw it in time. It was on a delay. This is a tough call, but I'm way too deep in my own territory, so I'm going to punt it away and play some defense. This game is very defensive in compared to Tecmo Super Bowl NES. You, you can't really just chuck it downfield and get jumping catches. The jumping catches do exist, but they're nowhere near to the success level as that game. Heretic Ninja says, life is good. I'm going to try possibly grind out some NFL Blitz tomorrow. Cool. Retro sports games are where it's at in my book. But of course, there's many types of games out there that people like to enjoy. But these are simple, fun gameplay experiences. And if you got good competition, you can play them over and over. And here we got Ricky Waters, five-yard game. So he's... He's busting out a few things on the ground here. Both trying to establish the run in the first half. 
Runs up the middle. First down. And the drone help comes. But not after he picks up a first down. Will Allen is the guy I'm selecting. He runs with Steve Young for a couple yards. Round 52, round 52. Oh, he's getting it done on the ground right now. Steve Young under center. And it was a bootleg. And Clyde Simmons. And that's why they pay him the big bucks. Clyde Simmons. One of the best defensive talents in this game. Heretic Ninja saying, if I could get a ride, I'll definitely get to D-Men Tap uh, Weekly. You Are you from the Chicagoland area, Heretic Ninja? Because if so, yeah, you got to you gotta come through. Even if you just come once a month. First down. A big covered catch there. The D was there, but, uh, you know, the ratings of the 49ers are just really good. Steve Young's got the 81 pass control and the receivers. Northern Indiana area? Okay, yeah, my, my cousin Slapshot Sean comes to uh, D-Men Tap, and he's from the Valpo area. So he was there in the playing in the Blitz tournament. So we do have some, a few out-of-staters from time to time and, and guys who come from further away. And Dan really putting something together here. He's crossed the 50. Getting it done any way he can. We got to run outside. Kind of missed the initial tackle, which helped him get a couple more yards. We go bootleg. And he's shaking off tacklers. Staying disciplined on the defensive end, but he picks up yardage on that. It looked dead in the water. And he ends up getting some yardage. Call the right play. The sweep to Ricky Waters. Three yard loss. I'm guessing he's going to try the field goal. And try to tie this one up. He's probably not going to have another chance. To get the ball. Score a touchdown. It's low. I'll be surprised if this goes in, and it does. We got 3-3, but I have time. You have to remember in this game, the clock doesn't run on the kickoff. So that's assuming he kicks it in the end zone, I could take a touchback. That's a full 2 minutes and 37 Tecmo seconds that I have to work with. Really just need to get in the field goal range. So pick up about 40 yards. He'll be good to go. Doesn't seem like it's out of the question. Picking up 11 there. Back to the well. It's working. Randall's running. Oh, and he's got yardage. The zig and the zag. Biggest run of the game. He got caught in traffic back there. And it cost him some huge yardage. And just playing it safe, even though I had a lot of guys open. Minute 31 to go. We want to drain some clock. 
Threw one in coverage. Not the smartest thing to do. Dan played some good defense. Randall Cunningham under center. We got McDonald manned. Goes to the middle of the field. Sherman catches the pass. Big 10-yard gain. Now we just got to keep getting yards. Maybe set up the field goal. He's blitzing, and Randall throws it. He could have had the game right there. That is a huge miscue. He really wasn't under the rest. He's able to get out from under that easily because of his speed, and the throw is just off. He's coming in again. This one's in the middle of the field. First down. Time's ticking fast, 27 seconds. Let's go with Romanowski coming for the bust up. Only 12 seconds left. Oh, <laughs> I just barely picked field goal in time. And it's up. It is blocked. But Randall picks it up. First down. And it's not in the end zone. I can't believe it. It looked like he crossed the plane. And, oh, man. Unbelievable. And he's going to get the return. I guess the best I could have done... If I would have done anything differently, I could have just double tapped the field goal and just hoped it went in. I left him too much time to come block it. I feel like I could tap this Xbox controller pretty fast, maybe even faster than a Nintendo controller. Steve Young under center. He's just going to run it. Defense is holding strong. He's not really going anywhere. This is a big play for him, though. He lines up in the shotgun. He's throwing it up. There's going to be double coverage, and it's not caught by Jerry Rice. He's got a couple of those today in coverage. And Clyde Simmons coming in quick. Doesn't get the hand up for the block on the cutscene. Now Sikahema is going to return this. Long way to go for the Eagles. I feel like I was just in this position to end the game and things just didn't go quite the way I wanted them to. Throws it across to Herschel. Picks up as many as he can. Second down. Lining up Griffin on the top side. Probably didn't see the Sherman run coming up at him, and and there it is. Brown, 52, Brown, 52. Eagles mix, mixing up the play calling a little bit. He's man to McDonald. And he has to go with the deep guy as Randall picks up an easy seven. Lining up in the trips shotgun. He's coming right up the middle. Incomplete. 
pass is blocked. Big pass block there by the Niners. Minute 34 left to go. Randall is under center. McDonald's who we're going to have to deal with. Randall's going to pick up a first and more running through some guys. It looks like Dan whiffed on the tackle there. I don't know if that was due to some minor lag or what the deal was, but it looked like the first time he might have missed a tackle this whole game. Ball's the right play there. Really didn't think that he would, uh, would guess the Walker sweep down, but he does. Just trying to pick up some yardage. I'm going to see where the clock will stop. At 11 seconds, I think I'm just going to attempt this field goal again. This one's going to be deep, though. Let's see if it's good. It's got good angle. Oh, my goodness. This guy can't kick. It's short. In Tecmo Super Bowl for the NES, that would have been no problem. This game, though, it's a problem. And he's just going to throw deep on the bootleg, but Clyde Simmons coming flying, throwing it up. Did the best he could to avoid the tackle, but all the coverage was there. And I guess it ends in a tie. First tie of the season. Well played game. Felt like I definitely had the advantage in the second half, but just couldn't score at the end of the game. Randall cooled off as far as throwing. And there you have it, 3-3, three to three. Philadelphia versus San Francisco in a battle of the 2 and O's. Now the 2 0 and 1s So we'll see how that plays a factor when we head closer to the playoffs. Tommy is also 2-0. and oh. He still has to play myself and DPS, so something's got to give there. But good game by DPS. It was a defensive battle between two teams that have pretty high-powered offenses, but neither team can get in the end zone, and it's 3-3, three to three, ending in a tie. So thank you for watching. We'll be back soon with some more Tech Mobile throwback. So take care and have a good night. Stay tuned for some more of these uh, coming up soon.